we got a lot of new trailers this week. Babylon came out, uh, directed by Jan- Damien Chazelle, releasing January 6, 2023. Got a stacked cast. Uh, it looks like a good trailer. Any, any notes? I know George did a reaction for it. Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> which got blocked in a moment. Yeah, which got oh, blocked yeah. in a yeah. yeah. so, so annoying, but I yeah, I I've been on the Damien Chazelle train uh, forever. Mm-hmm. We I think we spoke last week about like I think we spoke about what uh, Timothy Chalamet. Like anything he's in, I'm um, watching. Really. That's yeah. Damien Chazelle for me. Anytime this man uh, drops a movie, we need to be paying attention. Um, he's one of the best working this century i'll go as far as saying he's one of the best of the 2010s um so i am very excited for babylon heck yeah yeah is, i think it looks good so has there been nudity in a massive trailer release like that before is that I that took me by surprise that. there are the last time. yeah what, what are those like uh, red band red, red band, band trailers. trailers yeah, yeah. which i don't see that often honestly and this didn't but even have the, the, this didn't have mainstream. the like warning you know it just said on the, yeah, yeah. it said babylon uncensored so i was like mm-hmm. right, tiktok's gonna block this one yeah i mean it looks great it looks it, it really i'm very intrigued like it, visually it just looks so pleasing i love the cast is really good it's coming in at like a a really long run time it's like three hours plus three hours and five minutes wow yeah Sheesh. which is you, just, you gotta big, i feel like it, to have that long of a run you gotta earn that yeah, no, really no, I agree. It's, it's big shoes to fill when you when you start reaching that three hour mark. You have to earn that. That's I will a long say film. three hours and five minutes talking about the Hollywood, uh, you know, I guess glory transition. days, transition, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's giving, it's 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 reminding me of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and you guys know I don't love that movie. Mm-hmm. So I mm-hmm. am going to be going into Babylon, uh, you know, a little little nervous. But that that is that is is it's completely different styles though. It's it? so it's yeah, the, like it's it, you can't compare Tarantino to Damien Chazelle, but mm-hmm. either way, the the story, the premise, the runtime, going to be a little nervous. But it's Whiplash, one of my favorites ever. I know Tyler La La Land is one of your favorites ever. First Man is one of the most underrated films I've ever seen in my entire life. It's Damien Chazelle. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. On that, on that note, though, with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, as well as Babylon, we'll also touch on Amsterdam later, Margot Robbie's filmography is developing into, like, yeah, like do people crazy. do people consider her one of the great actresses of today other than people I, I feel like a lot I, of people consider her like the hot girl of wolf of wall street but like don't realize like her filmography is like incredible now but like even mm. she even though she was the hot girl of wolf of wall street she still it. put on so good, an incredible performance and yeah, i think indeed. she should have won best actress for i tanya she, I she was one of the best things out of that film i tanya she's was. so good at she's man. so good in i tanya it's unbelievable yeah mm-hmm. she's great I, I liked her in in Once Upon a Time uh, in Hollywood. I mean, she's just <laughs> great. She said All right. five words. 